popularity over the last few years. But ever notice how it tends to be a giant four-layer cake served in huge slices? To make it more manageable, I've combined the red velvet cake with another popular treat, the whoopie pie. It gives you all of the goodness of red velvet cake right in the palm of your hand. In this video, I'll show you how to make it mini. themselves are basically red velvet cake baked up into cookie size rounds. You want to start by mixing together our dry ingredients. We have flour in the bowl and we're going to add cocoa powder. This is natural cocoa powder, not dutched. If it's lumpy, you want to sift it before you add it. We're going to add baking powder, baking soda, and table salt. And you really want to combine these ingredients well. And it's not just a matter of whisking. You're also folding to make sure it's all very well incorporated. There, that looks good. Now, let's start with the batter. We're going to start with softened butter. This is butter that's at room temperature. It's not all melty or super soft. It just gives slightly when you press into the butter stick. Kind of like if you're touching the top of a ripe peach. It just gives slightly. Add this to our stand mixer. And now we're going to add the granulated sugar. And we're going to beat on medium speed until it's really well blended and smooth. It's important to stop every once in a while and scrape down the beater and the sides of the bowl and then continue mixing. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to add the eggs. I'm going to add them one at a time and then beat in between each addition. And then along with the last egg, we're going to add vanilla extract, it smells delicious, and our red gel paste food coloring. This is what's going to give our red velvet whoopies that red color. There, that looks great. Now we're going to add half of our dry ingredients. You don't have to be perfect about this, just eyeball it. I'm going to mix on low speed until it's just incorporated. Okay, now we're going to add the sour cream. It's at room temperature. It's the sour cream or buttermilk that gives the red velvet cake a nice tangy flavor. Now we're going to add the last of our flour ingredients. And we'll mix just until it's blended bowl off and I'm going to scrape down the beater. Now it's time to shape our whoopies. For this job, I like to use my one tablespoon mini scoop. It gives all of the cookies the same size so that they bake up evenly and then they all match when we go to assemble them. I also have cookie sheets that I've lined with silicone liners. You can use parchment if you'd like, that's fine too. If you don't have a mini scoop, you can always pipe the dough, or you can even use the two tablespoon method of scooping up with one tablespoon and then scraping it off onto the baking sheet with the other one. You're going to need three baking sheets for this recipe, but I like to bake them one at a time because it gives you a more even heat. Bake the whoopies until a toothpick in the center of one comes out clean. So while the whoopies are cooling, let's make the filling. The filling is based on the classic whoopie pie filling. Therefore, it's made with marshmallow fluff. I put my room temperature butter into a mixing bowl, and now I'm going to scrape in one jar of the marshmallow fluff. 
not the marshmallow cream, the marshmallow fluff. It's a little bit sticky getting it out of the jar, but it's worth it. Okay, I got it all. So we're gonna start at low speed and then gradually increase to medium speed and then beat until it's nice and smooth and well blended. If you have a stand mixer, you can do this in the stand mixer as well. And now I'll add some confectioner sugar, a little bit of table salt, and some vanilla bean paste. It's really delicious. If you can't find vanilla bean paste, you can also use the seeds scraped from a whole vanilla bean. You can even use pure vanilla extract, but I think the flex of the vanilla seeds really dress up the filling. And now we're gonna continue beating on low, moving up to medium speed until it's well blended. Before we assemble the whoopies, I want to show you a quick way that I like to decorate the tops of some of them. I've melted white chocolate with a little bit of vegetable oil in the microwave and I've scraped it into a Ziploc bag right over into one of the corners. I'm going to twist that top, turn it over, holding the twist with the opposite hand and snipping off a little bit of the corner. And then just do a very casual zigzag across the top of half of the whoopies. Okay, so let's fill and assemble our whoopies. I'm using a pastry bag to fill the whoopies because I think it's more efficient. But you can go ahead and use a scoop or a tablespoon. You want to push out just about one tablespoon into the center of the whoopie pie. And we're going to go down the center of all of them. Can you see those little flecks in the filling? They're so pretty. For the final assembly, simply take a top half and press it flat side down onto the filling and then press the two halves together gently until the filling just comes out to the edge. For some of the whoopies that I haven't decorated with white chocolate, I like to roll the outside in some sprinkles just to cover the filling. If you don't want to use the sprinkles, you can also coat the outside edges with chopped nuts or even toasted coconut. 